Would you like a rose? Would you like a rose today? How are you? I'm good. Good. We're just out here telling women that Jesus loves them and see how he can pray for you. Lord, I lift up Yvonne and I just pray over her today, God, that her heart was blessed because she was seen today. Protect her on the streets. And God, I pray that you will help her to know that she's loved in Jesus' name. Each year when the Super Bowl comes to town, the host city's entertainment and hospitality businesses grow significantly. People from all over the U.S. flock to the city to be a part of what's going on. Just like other industries, the adult entertainment industry draws in huge crowds. Strip clubs are filled, escorts are hired, women are soliciting online. And while this industry promises happiness, fulfillment, and empowerment, people are often left feeling empty, needing more, hopeless. Scarlet Hope decided to go where the women would be to share the hope and love of Jesus with as many women as possible. Volunteers from around the U.S. joined the local Scarlet Hope efforts in Las Vegas. Thousands of women in the adult entertainment industry were encountered during those four days of outreach. Teams dropped off 1,500 gifts to women working in strip clubs. Each gift included a handwritten note and a link to a gospel message. Text messages were sent to more than 2,000 women soliciting online, offering each connection, prayer, and resources. Dozens of women working on the streets were approached with a rose and a reminder that God sees them and loves them. Women working as escorts in the casino were approached with love, a listening ear, an offer for assistance should she need it. As the team prayed with 150 women and prayed for each woman encountered, we saw God begin to work. Two women professed Christ. Two women found freedom from trafficking. Many women received practical resources and every woman received the gift of knowing someone cares for her. The dark reality of the industry doesn't just surround Las Vegas or the Super Bowl. Each day, hundreds of women face exploitation in our own city. And as with any other major sporting event, the sex industry grows significantly for the week leading up to the Kentucky Derby, causing Louisville to become the most exploited city in the U.S. In the next week, women from around the U.S. will come to our city with many of the same desires as the women at the Super Bowl desires for financial gain, connection with others, affirmation and empowerment will drive women to work in this insidious industry. The question isn't if this is really happening in my city, but now that I know, what can I do about it?